Back, the fans of the albinus and probably the fans of the heavier genres which i hope i can show you at least enough about so that you know how to buy this i don't know how to play all that modern stuff anymore i'm old but i still like pointy guitars so if you're in the market for a modern heavy down to ex down to a down to extended range guitar this could be it this is not made for jazz. This is not made for pop rock. This thing is made from the get-go for the heavy shit. Because it's an RGD. 71 ALPA CKF. It's the Alpa. And I know some of you claim that they know what that stands for. But then 
people said, oh, FX clearly stands for fixed bridge. Well, this has a fixed bridge. There is no FX in the name. So uh, you're wrong. Ibanez, release your codes. Come on. Show us your secret documents on how you name your uh, instruments. It's, of course, the RGD71 ALPA-CKF, which stands for Charcoal, Charcoal Black Charcoal Burst Black Stained Flat. CKF. Charcoal Burst Black Stained Flat. CKF. Charcoal f Flat. What? <gasps> so, um, it's all the way one step lower. So it's already without this low string in D. The whole guitar is tuned to D. And with this low string, which would usually be a B, it is tuned to A, which means when you're dropping that, you have a drop G, which you don't need, but you want. I love a lot about this guitar. I love the five-piece neck made out of woods. Panga Panga and Walnut. Panga Panga sounds like a dirty sex act. It's bolt on satin polyurethane on the neck. We have 19 millimeters here, 21 millimeters here. It's got 673 ants lined up for the length. I don't know. That's, it's a long ass scale because it's a long scale guitar. Makasa Ebony in the fretboard, which is actually brighter than Ebony usually would be. So, but apparently that's what that is. Um, 400 millimeter radius, jumbo sub zero treated frets, white off step side dots, poplar burl, and the body that's interesting about this guitar is this is ash, as you can see right here, but then the back is Nayeto, which is a kind of mahogany. But this ash isn't just a top, it's actually 50% of the guitar, as we can see right here. So, this is literally half the body. Can you see this? I hope you can see that. Yeah, the, see, half the body is Nayeto, half the body is ash, and you can see some of the ash up here. And then this is a very thin veneer for looks. The nut is plastic. Why they don't use a GraphTech nut, I don't know. That's another couple bucks that they saved, but they shouldn't. Go to locking tuners right there, which I technically like. Some of them are not as precise as the others on this one. Um, I wish they were. Uh, the high E has a little bit of give. So are they the best tuners on the market? I don't think they are. They're good. They're, they're locking. They are locking here in the back. It's what I want to see on a guitar like this. Still tuning is not. Some tuners are just so great. Touch, wing, dong, ding, dong, ding, and you're there. And sometimes you're fighting with them a little bit. I'm, I'm undecided on how good these are. I love Goto. I love that they're locking. I love that they're on here. I love how short the little palsies are. All that. Are they perfection? Uh, no. Specific is uh, specific. Uh, great about these, this guitar, which drives the price up to 1400 euro, are uh, the bare knuckles. Bare knuckle aftermath seven. That's pretty much that right there. Uh, we have volume, call tap, three position, Luminescent side dots, so if you load them up with some light, they will shine at you, which is, of course, the way that you do it nowadays. Comes with shallow S-lock pins, that's actually in the in the box. It comes in the cardboard box, but I think there's some strap locks included with this. Uh, strings are 10 to 59, made in Indonesia, tuned from D to A, and that's it. It's a stunningly, be stunningly beautiful guitar. Personally, I think the body, which has a little bit of green in it, doesn't 100% the head doesn't 100% ma I think the body which has a little bit green in it doesn't 100% match the headstock which is more brownish now can we fault the guitar for that given that it's made in Indonesia and they can't really spend the time to make sure that happens but look at it it kind of feels it's matching but it's not perfectly matching just saying I love of course the aftermath pickups and their camouflage. It works perfectly with this thing. Fixed bridge, monorail bridge. So we're going to go into the ref generator 740 for some cleans and then some chugga chuggers. And then you know what you want.
I did not set this guitar up. Oh, th what I love about these Axion labels, which this is, and actually all the Ibanez guitars, except for the prestigious, which I don't understand. Anything coming from Japan doesn't have this. It has this amazing um, truss rod cover, which you just shove to the side and quickly adjust the truss rod. Different Ibanez guitars come with different truss rods. There's, there's this um, truss rod tool that Ibanez has, and sometimes that's not the one you have to use. Sometimes you have to use an Allen wrench. Um, some guitars have this really, really cool opening thing. Any guitar should have this. Why loosen the three screws? Lose them. It's a pain in the ass. This is the way to do it. But then on their higher end guitars, they don't do it. Ibanez guitars in the different lines really diverge in different directions in design philosophy and all that stuff. So I love this. Very tough going volume knob there. That that feels like doing volume swells, which of course you're probably not going to do with a guitar, isn't going to fly. So right here. And by the way, if you see graphics down there, they're courtesy of my buddy Jason McNamara, who has an amazing tool to give you pickup thingies on the screen. Works in Final Cut. If you're a video creator, you do guitar stuff, contact Jason McNamara about his amazing about Jason's tool, you know what I mean. It's obviously lower already. Let's tune this puppy again. Yeah, there's a little bit of give. I'm fighting with it. I'm turning it back too much. They, they aren't, aren't quite where I want them. Kind of reminiscent in their clarity of uh, what you get with Fishman Fluence. Super clear. They would. You're not gonna play Stratty or Tally or even less party sounds on them on this. This is made for gain and keeping the clarity on string separation in the game. You can hear this on the clean sound. Then this in single coil. What the? bit thin. It's not a Strat single coil. It's a single coily sound. Put some compression on there, some delay, some reverb. And then it works, of course, for your metal intro, and then you're done. Back to Humbucker. I was in the middle. This goes in the middle. That's not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be here. This is in a not so good position. That happened the second time in this video. Okay, moving on, middle. Was single coily, and then humbucker in the back. Thank you. 
Put some overdrive on there, some delay. See what we can get in terms of leads. absolutely solo on this beautifully right now this needs to be a little bit looped the Dario accelerate whoa okay um chuggy chuggy sounds are we going into the Achilles Argos for JTM type vintage drive no it makes no sense starting with the Engel it's just not the thing a uh, fireball Probably the below thousand euro metal amp I would buy nowadays. 829 bucks here, a little bit more in the US. Uh, holy crap, it'll deliver. <laughs> Lovely sound for the heavy. Pretty damn awesome. Here's the Ref 100P. together ultra clarity ultra massiveness it's a guitar made for this i just don't know how to play any of those riffs <laughs> and we're gonna go into the driftwood darkest nightmare over there which is again another one of those super modern massive amps <laughs> Thank you. 
I could really have a lot of fun with this uh, if I wanted to play the heavy stuff. That amp, this guitar. <laughs> Well, my main problem with the downtune stuff is that it gets muddy and, and not responsive and flabby. I used to have an eight string and it was like boom, 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 and the flabbiness. With the longer scale, these pickups and a modern amp that can deliver the goods, this response as fast down there as any normal six string. Uh, uh, very impressive. Clocks in at 1400 bucks, uh, no gig back, no case. It's the drawback of having these pickups, I guess. So you have to get this yourself. If you're in the market for a massive sounding guitar, I re just reviewed the Rich Light. Something, 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 Ibanez, RGDR, flim, 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 Rich Light top, which is a prestige approach to this, which has Fusion Edge pickups, which were not as open and clear as these. Uh, however, that's the prestige model, so build quality is a little bit different. I do love this neck. I love this. I love the top. I love the ash. I love the color. Not sure about the headstock color. If I was in the market for a guitar like this, I wouldn't have a problem with that. But the tuners, I'm gonna deduct 5% on tuner amazingness. They're 95% amazing, not 100%. I did get paid for this video, just to let you know. I do get commissions from the links if you click them, uh, not, not from you clicking them, for you buying something. Click the link, buy whatever. Buy a recorder or a pack of gum. I don't care. Buy it. I get money. Thank you. Uh, Leslie gets money, feeds the dogs. Thank you. She's switching this video. And, you know, some of that money we put into the animal shelter because those animals need help. So thank you for that. Links below, animals at the end. Yeah.